Good day, YouTube. My name is Austin, and I am with Kilshaw's Geek Garage, where we're going to be restoring cars like my 92 Mercedes-Benz 400E, modifying them, fixing them up from basic oil changes all the way to full-blown engine swaps with details and what all you really need to do these things. Now, we're going to be, once we're done with these cars, we're going to be taking them to car cruises, meets, shows, rallies, anything and all in between. Also, in the free time, if you do enjoy it, I will be gaming because that is also another passion of mine. Now, if you don't mind, I'm going to take you on a little journey. We're going to show you the cars that we're going to be working on and what all we're going to be doing. All right, so we're going to start off with Mark II daily driven cars for me and my wife's now mine is a 2014 Ford Focus ST now I've had this one for about three years now daily driven it every day has about 84,000 miles on it and I love this car half to death no matter how many issues she's given me I just can't seem to get rid of her or trade her in or anything like that. Now, obviously you can see the banner, shout out to the Houston STRS crew. That is the local R RS ST for the Fiesta and the Focus group here in Houston, Texas. Now, you might be also wondering what are those things on the side of my car? Well, that was done by Underground Graphics. Uh, Shop owner is Greg Lilly. He made those for my son when he passed away a couple of years ago. Now, this one just has some basic bolt-ons done to it. You know, nothing too major, nothing really too hardcore, I would say, because I daily drive this car. Now, we're going to be doing something a little bit later in the video. We're going to be doing just a basic cabin filter on this. Later on, probably within a week or two, we will be doing a turbo line gasket on it because I do have a little bit of a leak on this. And for 84,000 miles, that being the first leak, that's not a bad thing. Now, here we have a 2014 Ford Fiesta Titanium Edition. So it's fully loaded, and this is my wife's daily driven car. Now on this car during during the series, we're only going to be doing pretty much basic stuff to it, basic maintenance, anything that breaks on it will do. But honestly, we're not going to be really modifying this car because we may be trading it in sometime this year, but we will see about that one. Alrighty, so this is my piece de resistance. This is the big project we're going to be working on on the channel. It's my 92 Mercedes-Benz 400E. Now, you, if you saw, we already had the battery taken off the front bumper, and it's up on jack stands. Now, this paint right here, we're going to need to either get it repainted, or we're going to get some paint correction done on it to get that clear coat fixed. Because I want to try to keep it this same maroon color because this is a fabulous color for this vehicle now we're also going to be doing custom wheels and lowering springs so we're going to probably go with an 18 inch wheel to kind of fill out this a little bit more because it came stock with 15s on it so we're going to drop it down make it look clean we're not going to do anything too rad because i don't want to be you know tearing up this car now also, the big project is, is obviously, you can tell I've taken it apart, is this motor. Now on these M119 motors, you have an issue between 90 to 100,000 miles where your timing guides break. And, you know, that's not a good thing. So the timing guide broke, the chain skipped, this exhaust camshaft I had to take out with a pry bar because it was stuck because a valve met a piston all these other ones popped clean out now these two I haven't taken out yet they're still in but this motor will need to be replaced so within a week or two we're gonna be replacing this motor and probably it'll be a month till we get the other motor but that time we're gonna clean up this engine bay this make this all nice because obviously you can see leaves this car was sitting for a very long time. Now, on to the interior. We're going to be looking at this because this is 
from what the title says on the back, this car only has 92,000 miles now. Like I said, this thing was not running when I picked it up, and the battery was dead. It has the original leather somewhere on the seat, but that's all fixable. Two different steering wheels. Now we picked this one, put this one on just to move the vehicle. So this will get replaced with that one down over there because it does have the airbag. It has cruise control, wipers, anything and everything you need. Because this model in particular is fully loaded when it came out. Has all the different buttons, all the original wood trim, all the gloss and the clear and sealer on this is still good. So, now the main things we're going to be concentrating on in the interior is this A-pillar right here. Obviously, you can see the, this leather has started to peel off. Now, we're probably going to have to replace it because there's some holes in it. And the headliner is starting to sag. There is a tear in this back seat that I'm going to have an interior guy take a look at and see if he can fix because it's just right there on a the seam. So it shouldn't be too difficult to fix. Just some stitches back up just to bring it back together because probably from sitting out in the sun too long, it sh probably stretched out the leather and it just pink popped the seam. So we'll see if we can get that fixed. Now we're also going to be doing a custom AMG exhaust. I have a AMG muffler we're going to get done cat back wise. And then we're also going to be doing a custom intake setup on this car as well. Just to, you know, give it that fresh little look. A little bit more aggressive, you know, but not too much to where it's just too ridiculous, you know, and changing the whole dynamic of this car. So let's go over to the Focus and get started on replacing the cabin filter. Alright, so the cabin filter. I picked it up at one of my local AutoNation dealerships here. Now they had they had the BG product and the air quality cabin air filter and also you can see this is that gasket we're gonna be replacing within a week or two just because that leak I don't want it to get too bad to where it starts pumping out oil so we're gonna go ahead and replace that but for today we're just gonna do a cabin filter and now let me show you how to get that done all right well this cabin filter is pretty easy to get to nothing too crazy so all you have to do on these focuses and i don't know if the fiesta is the same way we'll take a look at it in a different video but you just have to pop off there's two little clips you pinch the sides of it and they come loose and this whole panel just comes off so let's set that off to the side now the cabin filter is back over here in this corner there's just two little clips, you pinch the sides, and the panel pops off. Super easy, super simple if you want to do it at your own home. Now this cabin filter, probably a little dirty because they have a lot of construction work here in Houston. So let's go on ahead and pull it on out and get it replaced because this sucker is going to be fresh smelling within a few minutes now. Obviously, you can see a little dirty, but not that bad to be dead honest with you. But still good to change it out about every 10, I would say at the most, 20,000 miles. All right, so we're going to look at these two different cabin filters. Now, this is the one I pulled out. Now, you can obviously see it's not white anymore. It has gone dirty, so it does not look clean. We're going to be taking out our air quality cabin air filter that I did pick up at a local AutoNation dealership and it wasn't that bad of a price I believe it was right around $15.99 for this cabin filter so let me go ahead and get it out of the box real quick and show you what it looks like so definitely a big difference there you can see how dirty the one that came out of the car is compared to the one that i'm putting into the car so man this car is going to be smelling super fresh once it's done all right so we're going to be going back with the cabin filter for my focus st now on these filters you got to pinch the sides of the filter so it's scrunched together like this because it's such a difficult installation so let me go on ahead and put it back in there back 
in, go on with the cap. So the cap should just put it down over here. Should just slide back on. There we go. Clips in. Then we're going to pop back on our cover. Take our two clips to hold it back in place. And ta-da, we are done with the installation of the cabin filter. So that is going to be it for today, folks. Please like, subscribe, and tell your friends about this video on this channel so that we can get it up and running. I am going to be showing new content once to twice a week to start off. First thing being, we're going to be working on the 92400E, taking apart the rest of the lines, the AC compressor, the alternator, and a few of the other goodies that we need to get off before pulling the motor. So I'll see you next time. Have a good day. Be safe and keep working on them cars.